So one of the questions I get asked all the time is, how do I get these deals that I get? So I've talked about it in a bunch of different videos, but in this video, I'm going to give you one secret that a lot of people over miss. I mean, people miss this all the time. I started doing this and it's actually been quite lucrative and beneficial. So I started with the Facebook marketplace, Facebook marketplace. And I've talked about that in a lot of videos is, you know, um, hit or miss. You get on there, you see what people are selling. You can either lowball them. They'll take it. The longer it's been up there, the better chance that you have of getting a lower price. And then just what the market's worth. It's more of a gamble, hit or miss, but that's typically where I get a lot of my stuff. If a graphics card is going for about you know 200 on eBay, I could typically score it for about half on the Facebook Marketplace because if you offer somebody cash right there and then on the spot, they're quick to take it. Now, the other thing that I do is eBay. eBay is the same way. You just have to get on there and you just have to be on top of it. eBay, you see a new listing. A lot of the times there are people just throwing things up there real quick. They don't want to deal with meeting people in person. So... They post something on there, dirt cheap, you can snag it up, reflip it, or just use it for your personal use. Now, this third trick is where you have to be knowledgeable. You have to have knowledge and experience, and this will work. First, I start by saying is, is that you know you need to have knowledge of what you're looking into, what you're looking to buy, looking what to sell, how comfortable you are with computers, are you able to do basic repairs, programming, just, you know, Windows, all that type of stuff. If you're able to do that, this is really a good way to kind of dive in and make some money. So pawn shops. I find in my area, a lot of these pawn shops, they don't want to take the computers and send them out to get, you know, uh, reprogrammed. It's going to cost them money. Typically, a repair shop is going to charge about $100. So if they take this in on pawn for like two, $300, then they got to pay a guy to program it. That's $400. They're losing money. And everybody knows this with computers the value of computer parts depreciate over time. Pawn shops need to move this stuff really quick. Most of the time, if the computer comes in, they can log into Windows, everything looks really good. Um, yeah, they're happy with it. But other times, they get computers and they don't realize that it does need some attention, and then that's where you can swoop in and make a good deal. So let me show you with this. This is an HP Victus. It has the Ryzen 5 6000 series, RTX 3050, 500 gig M.2, uh, 16 gigs of DDR4. Pretty decent laptop. Decent for gaming, all that type of stuff. These things go roughly for about, and I'll post on the screen, anywhere from $450 to $600. I would say the price point that I've seen them on average is $500, and that's of July 2024. Now, I paid $267 for this, which is a steal of a deal. And just to kind of show you, $267.50 because, you know, you got to pay tax. Uncle Sam wants his money. And the reason why I played it and the reason why I got it so cheap is if you look at it, it's in Spanish. That's right. It's in Spanish. So now the pawn shop wanted $4.99 for it, which that's what they're going for. That's what you're going to expect to pay. Um, I took a look at it because I'm not familiar with the HP Victus. I thought it was a decent, cool looking laptop. And I asked the guy, hey, can I take a look at it? And he showed it to me. And number one, it popped up in this screen. He tried a whole bunch of different things to get it out of Spanish. He could not figure it out. He called one of the people that normally do this. And they're like, yeah, they can't figure out how to do it. So then he reached out to um, somebody who does this that they do on the side for these if they get them low enough and they were going to charge them $120. I offered $250 and you got to haggle a little bit. And... I got it. So for $250 plus tax, I have this laptop. I've already reached out to someone and I have this thing sold for $350. And all I need to do is pop in a fresh copy of Windows 11. And I've done this many times. I go, I ask to take a look at a computer, I run it, and if there's something wrong, whether it doesn't have Windows installed, it's crashes, something that's wrong with the, the laptop or even desktop, I've had a couple of desktops like that, I buy them. They typically will sell these things cheap because it's going to cost them more money to fix it for somebody that's, you know, that actually wants to buy it. So they'll sell it cheap. I pick them up, fix them real cheap, and I'm able to flip and move them real quick. So pawn shops, a lot of mom and pops or small area pawn shops, um, check out their laptops, check out their desktops. And if there's something wrong with it, you have a lot of wiggle room because it's cheaper to sell it to somebody as is than to send out to get repaired. So let's get diving into this. Let's take a look at it. Um, open it up, specs, install Windows 11, make sure it works, and 
hopefully prove that I didn't get hosed and this thing is not broken more than the fact that it's in Spanish. And guys, I know speak no Spanish. All right, so our first thing where we need to start is get my USB in here. Let's power you off. All right, power you on. F10. You have to press it like 3,462 times. That way you can get into the BIOS. Perfect. All right, so we got a Ryzen 5 6600H with Radeon graphics. 16 gigs of memory, like I talked about. And this is actually just confirming what I already know and what we talked about. And, whoa, it's pretty loud. Okay, we need to make sure that our thumb drive is primary. Perfect. Just going through the settings, making sure there's nothing else that um, I'm missing, but basic. Save and exit. And now it should boot off to our thumb drive. And we should be back in English. Victus. Well, look at that. We are in English. That was quick, painless, and easy. We're off to a great start. So I'm going to continue installing Windows 11 on this, drivers, updates, and then we're going to open it up, put fresh thermal paste on it because I have found that makes a huge difference on um, any laptop, even brand new ones, and then just have fun with it. Well, at least until the buyer picks it up. All right, folks, kind of got ahead of myself and forgot to hit the record button, but it's all good. To take this apart, there's like eight screws, four on the top, four on the bottom. Very simple. And, well, all you got to do is take off a screw here, screw there, and then that's like eight of them, and you're done. So we got the CPU, GPU, or NVIDIA, or AMD. That's pretty much it. And as you can see, our thermal paste is just, yeah, it's, it's just not. How about that? It's just not. A very simple, easy app laptop to upgrade. It's running good. Um, forgot to turn the camera on too to show that it is in English. So I'm gonna just put some fresh thermal paste, turn this thing back on, put it back together, and then wrap this thing up. All right, so everything's put back together. Thing works fine. Um, not really recording a lot of like the in-depth review on it. This thing works fine. I have no issue with it. Uh, temperatures, I probably gained about two to three degrees difference as far as our temperatures and the thermal paste which is fine because you can sustain clocks a lot better but pretty awesome the simple fact that i was able to negotiate a fantastic deal flip this which i am going to flip this make a hundred dollar profit for about 20 30 minutes worth of work pretty awesome so pawn shops folks if you see a pawn shop check out the computers if they're not configured or something you can really negotiate it especially if um windows is different languages hardware issues or even maybe a bad drive and I've done that a bunch and I've been able to make some good money and get some good stuff out of that. And then also like even while I was over there, just, you know, side note, like this PS uh, Vita, they had it and the issue that they had was that um, they could not get it working properly. Long story short, just had to swap out the battery. I paid $20 for this. So that's a steal of a deal. So pawn shops is one of my tricks and it's actually been a big trick lately to um, getting some good deals on used laptops and even sometimes computers. I don't see a lot of desktop computers over there, but if you do, these are the tricks. Definitely give them a try. It might work. I know in smaller uh, towns and places like that, it's better, but big areas where they actually have their own IT department, not so much. So comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, concerns, criticisms. Have you ever tried this? What is your experience with pawn shops and getting good deals? If you like this video, definitely hit the like button, subscribe if you're not. And as always, see what we come up with next.